here with Pete Magazine, and we're here with John Lewis Dickinson at Fight and Chance Promotions Gym. Ahead of you, well, you've got a couple of fights due on the card shortly, but you're yeah. going to be headlining on the 26th at Gated Leisure Centre, yeah? Uh, yeah, we're um, obviously training towards March 26th, Genesis. Um, that's what we're, like you say, what we're aiming towards. Like, I hopefully got another one coming off after that, which should be able to announce soon. But the main, your last the fight main, was, it, was it last April? Yeah, April. Aye. It's been a long time, you know. I've been um, after such a big win, a big platform. I know, and I know. I was, uh, I was, I was expecting to be out at the end of the year, but for whatever reason, uh, the show fell through and stuff. You know, there was going to be another one at the arena, but it didn't come off. Um, but thankfully, like obviously, fighting chance, and that's getting the promoter's license and putting putting a show on and at the at the leisure centre, sorry, um, yeah. and really looking forward to it. Training hard, just finished the third session of the day, and everything's going well. So how long have you actually been back in training now then for ahead of this fight? I am, um, I've been training maybe six, seven weeks or something like that, but I've also been out to, um, to Latvia. I've seen some to, notes on Facebook I, saying you were going away, yeah. How'd that go? Yeah, I got a phone call just to, to to ask if I'd go out and spar with uh, Maurice Breedis, who's just boxed for the IBF Continental Intercontinental title. So obviously I, I took the opportunity, you know, and um, went out there. I was out there a week and a half, like 10 days, and had some brilliant sparring with him. And learnt, learnt loads from it, great experience. And Take it back to the amateur days when you were going away on sessions and stuff, I suppose. Aye, aye. Um, it, it, was, it was different to some other... I, I was kind of, it was myself, you know what I mean? I was, yeah. I mean, I'm in Latvia. I was only, like, there wasn't many people who could speak English, but it was, it was nice to get away, um, train hard, good sparring, and have that time to think about it Less and everything as well, yeah. do you know what I mean? So it was good. It was, I was some of the plays I've done, um, come back and obviously straight back in, hard training with, with all the lads and that, you know. So let's go back to, to April, Stephen Simmons. <clears throat> It was it was a fight. I think a lot of the local fans, in particular your, your fan base, with what happened with the previous two fights, they were probably a, bit, a little bit nervous for you. Yeah. Confident in you because they believe in you, but when you've had the two re reverses that you had, and I, I remember I mentioned it that the two days before the fight, you posted a, a photo. I wasn't perving on you, <laughs> but you are in such good nick and it was yeah. like obviously working with Chris and on the nutrition and everything I'd never seen you in as good condition mm -hmm. and when I seen you there it was like aye. I just my confidence went up 100% yeah, yeah. with you mm -hmm. I am um, I it's we've, we've, we've getting everything right you know I mean obviously the, the training in the gym with Ronnie and Gary's is second to none you know that's brilliant um, I work with Martin Nugent my strength coach and he I'm with him three night three times a week um, then, like I say, we brought Chris Clayton on board, who someone who I can speak to, and he tells us every day what to eat, when to eat, and you know what I mean. Sometimes I've got to eat more, and mm. I'm not even hungry, but he's he's forcing yeah. it. Like, but um, I was, was in good, good, con great conditioning. Starting off the same again, same again this time. You know, I'm training hard, um, eating properly. The weight's coming off nice, feeling strong. Um, so, uh, it seems it, it's working definitely. And you're saying you might be having a potential fight at the, the following month as well? In, in yeah, April. yeah, well, obviously, um, it's out there that Matchroom have the a British eliminator between myself and uh, Tommy McCarthy. Yeah. So we're waiting for it just to be confirmed, really, in the venue. To yeah, be, which show to, it's going to be, maybe? To be, to be set, basically, you know. Um, but like I say, they're, 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 they've got the, the purse bids to, to hold it. And it's just a case of when and when and where. But let us see. I mean, I've got this show to concentrate on first, which yeah. which you, you can never look look ahead of that. You know, I've got I've got a, I've got a job to do on the twenty sixth of of March, and then go from there. But I things are looking good. It's it's perfect though. Obviously, we're fighting chance getting the promoters license now, which means they can put the shows on. You're not relying on other shows to a degree, Aye. which means you know you're going to get this fight on the twenty sixth which if you are going to be fighting towards the end of the next month or soon after, mm -hmm. at least you're not having to wait a year like it would have been after obviously coming from the Simmons fight and then having to fight for the, t the British title. Exactly. It's, it's a great thing what uh, like obviously Ronnie and Lewis and them are doing, you know, with, uh, with fighting chance and with the promotion side of things now. It means we can take a massive step forward and obviously putting these shows on. The, this show is looking brilliant. Some great lads on that bill and I'm sure it's going to be a cracking night. 
Um, and there's obviously loads more to look forward to in the future, which is just going to get bigger and better. And I'm, I'm excited to be part of it. Like, and Good times I, ahead, I think it? all the rest of the lads are. So it, it, it is. It's exciting times. Well, it's it's one of the things we're fighting chance. You, you, you do get it with some of the gyms, but you've got guys at different stages of the career. And obviously, you're the, the spearhead at the top, you would say. You know, I don't, I'll say it for you so you don't have to. But then you've also got, you've got, you've got Craig obviously fighting for a title, yeah, yeah. Uh, title eliminator this Saturday. So he's, he's knocking on the door there as well. Mm -hmm. you've, you, and obviously you've got Mark White has come through. He's had a couple of fights yeah. there. John TK, similar. Mm -hmm. And it's like, when you've got guys at different stages, I'm not going to ask you what's happening with Travis. But the, uh, when you've got guys at different stages, you never know, you may come back at some stage. Mm -hmm. But it's like, when you've got that sort of platform, when it comes to televised shows and things like that, you, you've got your headline fighters, but you've also got the guys coming through and it's getting uh, them the yeah. exposure, yeah. but you don't have to put them up against the same challenges when you've got guys who are further on. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, um, like you said, I mean, you see like obviously levels and stuff like that, but I mean, I, I, I never put myself above anyone, you know, we all see them in here, we're, I'll get in with anyone and, we'll, and move about and it, it, it's all good, you work together, you know what I mean, you push each other on. You could have a novice and they'll learn from me, but I'll learn from them as well because yeah, they, yeah. they do they do things what you're not expecting. And it, well, you can forget things sometimes as well. well that's you it, do. I you do. I you, you remember you, all that. You kind of think you're ahead of the game, but you've got to. You, sometimes you just got to step take that step back and just go back to the the basics and 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 never forget them things, you know. But I you, you all work together and it it works. It it's it works well. I think all gyms are the same. To be fair, you know, you you've got to have them levels like, but. When you when you're seeing like come to shows, obviously I I mean you've got the the, the like one thing with me myself I'm I'm very experienced over doing like twelve round distance you know and I I can I do it with my eyes shut like just and that's a good thing you can you can like down the pecking order the lads learn to come through doing the four rounders and, yeah. and and so on and and I it's good I mean we've got the right through put put a, a, a great show on just all the lads in the gym you know which. I'm sure it's going to happen at one point. I mean, we've got a few fighting on the Genesis show. Mm -hmm. What's to say we'll kind of fill a full show with just all our lads at some point. Exactly. And, and again, it's the, the future's unwritten at this stage. So the, the more exposure you get on TV, more potential for sponsors and things like that. Because sponsors, go, if, you, if you get more exposure, it's a, well, that, a, a better exa target for exactly. a sponsor. I mean, you know? I think it's great advertisement for companies and stuff, you know, to get obviously your logos on um obviously on the on the shirts of like the boxes and that like obviously myself and stuff you know what i mean and it's shown we've obviously got a got a, a deal with uh made made tv which is shown across like four different regions now yeah. and i'm sure they're pulling in viewing figures are like nine hundred thousand viewing figures you know so it's 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 big that and to pay for tele advertisement you're talking stupid money to, have, to, to help sponsor local lads boxing yeah. you know and get your name out there as well it, do you know what I mean? I think it's a, I think it's a great move for for any company out there looking looking to to do that and, and be involved in something. You know, helping people out, but obviously also advertising. It's great. Well, it's it's, it's great brand recognition as mm -hmm. well because if you're investing into the local community and the local sport, it it says a good thing about the company as well. Well, that's it. You help. I mean, you're helping people out. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I've got a, I've got a great sponsor in um, WM Utilities who who sponsored us for years. You know, Christopher Welsh. Um, he's He's been there for, like say, for years, like and massive help, and it just takes the weight off your shoulders a bit when you've got someone like that backing you, you know, and, and believing in you. And, um, and there should be more of it, certainly. I mean, if you think of the, should, the, I mean. the boxing in the region's thriving now, and there's opportunities there. The shows are getting bigger. Obviously, the show you were on last year was it, it showed compared to the Box Nation shows the previous year, which weren't as big a success. So it, it's continuing to go in that positive direction of course I, th I think boxing's uh, booming at the minute um, I mean I think personally myself I think UFC was starting to look like it was going to take over at one point but other than the Conor McGregor's and that now it's kind of backed back down a bit you yeah. know and, and boxing seems to be coming back through again I think boxing's responding you, I think certain bigger fights are getting uh, made where previously they were yeah. avoiding each other you look at Saturday night I mean atmosphere in Manchester Quig Frampton you know Frampton Quig um Brilliant. The atmosphere was great, and the fight was a little bit of a letdown, but that was not a surprise. That, that, it was a bit like no, Pat no. I mean, that's it. I, I think, I think what from from just had that little bit, bit too much. You know, yeah. he, he, he was a bit more clever. But like I say, just just on the the size of the show, and it 
it's it's selling. You know what I mean? Boxing's boxing selling. The fans want to see boxing, and it's it it can only be good for everyone involved in it, really. And and like you say, com- companies and things out there, aye, like who who can get in help the lads. So who, who was it? Who was it with yourself? Uh, WM Utilities. WM Utilities. WM Utility Service. I um, like you see sponsors for years. He's, he's, um, and Rev Gear, um, who are out of Fight Store Pro in Newcastle, uh, like a kit sponsor. So I get yeah. all my training gear and things through them, which is like another great help. Obviously helps us. You know, I mean, obviously I'm, when I'm training three times a day, that like, you're going through some you gear, need a lot of kit, um, gloves, anything like that. You know, I mean, obviously anyone looking for gear in the, the area, get yourself over to Newcastle and. And it's a great shop, you know, I've got everything. So any potential company sponsors out there, be conscious, 26th of March, there's going to be a show on in Gateshead. It's going to be televised within the following four or five days. Yeah, and, yeah. and there's going to be some more shows coming through and like build up with interviews and promos mm-hmm. and things like this. So any companies out there, either contact Fighting Chance or contact us ourselves and we'll, we'll put you in touch there. But any final thoughts, obviously... Did, You've got an idea who you're fighting on the 26th, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm fighting uh, Vladimir Let- Letra, I think, yeah, how you pronounce it. Letra. Um, so it's Le- like a... Le- Letra. Uh, uh, it's uh, something like... Uh, <laughs> uh, it's something like uh, um, <laughs> Polish lad, South Pole. Um, obviously, it's, it's been, I've never boxed in South Pole, if, if you've never noticed that like, in my career. I've never come up against so it. There's not many in the cruiser we, in the cruiserweights, to be fair, but um, there's, there's a lot... When you get further up, like the, the higher levels, titles yeah. and stuff, you know, there's a lot there. So we'll move forward and start getting a bit, like, say, great opportunity. Fight the South Pole, get, get, feel me where you know, and um, get a win and then look to move win on. Well. Win, win, win well, win well, that's no, it, exactly. No complacency no, in no. there, it's, that's it. it's you so kinda... easy to say though, isn't it? But it's mm-hmm. like, it's when you know you're, you're likely levels ahead of potential opponents, one punch. That's mm-hmm. all it takes, you know. Oh, that's it. I, um, I think that that happens away from from the from the fight itself. So that happens in the training. That yeah. happens when you when you're thinking to yourself, oh, I'm, I've done this," and you start missing runs and you're mm. missing doing this and missing doing that. You know, I'll be all right. you're having a cheat meal and stuff yeah. like that when you shouldn't be. You know, if you're keeping everything right and you're doing everything right, everything should go right on the night. You know, and I'm 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 grafting my arse off like and like see, this is the third session of the day. I'm doing three sessions every day and eating everything right and I'll be ready I'll be eating nails by the 26th <laughs> well on that bombshell John Lewis Stickinson I'll be there I'll be commentating on your fight so I'm looking forward to that but uh, watch out for this man he's going he's going all the way Jesus, thank top you. man Chaz